Hi everyone, it's Danae here. So according to etiasvisa.com, Europe is the most visited continent in the world. I've just traveled through four countries, um, not including the UK, in the last week and a half with my son, and I've never done anything like it. Just like, for example, flying the distance to Sydney or to Queensland and being in a whole new other country. It's like amazing with like its own language, its own architecture, its own sites, its own ways of life. And um, I didn't travel or start to travel overseas until I was 40 years old. And um, I didn't realize really um, the significance of traveling through Europe and what it would be like and it is incredible and I highly recommend it if you can do it but do it on your Greek EU citizenship passport so that you can stay longer than 90 days if you wish and you can bypass the ETS um, visa waiver application form and fee and to not stand in long queues of non EU passport holders at the airports and just sail right through. So I highly encourage you to go out and expand your world. Here I am facing the other way now, trying not to make too much of a spectacle of myself. One of the suggestions that I have is when you're thinking about applying for Greek citizenship, you sort of focus on the process and you know, like, uh, you know how long it might take and what do I have to do and all this stuff. What you need to do is focus on the prize, which is your Greek citizenship. Um, going next level Greek, getting your Greek EU passport. Get excited because I know people who do not have any EU connections at all. Shift your thinking, change your perspective and look at it for all the reasons why you get your citizenship. Um, look at it from all the benefits that you're going to receive. Look at it for, uh, from the angle of your future generations. If you want to get your Greek citizenship and Greek EU passport and you're not sure where to start or what, you know, what to do, what's involved, um, how much it will cost, uh, how long it could take, um, how to overcome challenges that might crop up during the process. You want to know about the process from start to finish. Um, I encourage you to go to Apple Books, Kobo or Amazon and look me up. Get onto it. Get onto it. Look up my books if you need help. If you don't need help, just ring the consulate. Get onto it. ASAP. Just do one step after the other, and um, you'll get there. A, a second ebook guide to deferring your Greek army service indefinitely for all those males aged between 19 and 45 who will need to um, complete compulsory army or military service unless you apply for a deferral of service, an ongoing deferral of service, which our sons did. So the e-books contain everything that we did. They're your guiding light. Um, they'll answer so many questions that you probably have um, about the process and about what is required. So I covered everything in everything that we experienced in my books and um, they're there to help you and to make the process easier. You can become part of the Go Next Level Greek um, Facebook community. Let's do this together. Um, pass on this video to others who might benefit from it or who are considering becoming Greek citizens and um, yeah, let's all join hands and, and, and move ahead with it. Because I know a lot of people have been sitting on the idea from, from my experience and talking to people, Greek Australians around me, you know, a lot, of, a lot of them tend to sort of fall back from applying for one reason or another. 
um, a lot of the time it's, it's because they're a little bit anxious about the process or, or confusion or um, they're not sure what the experience of the process will be like. Um, I'm here to help. So it is your birthright. And so go next level Greek with my support and the next generations will appreciate it. So I urge you to look at the pros, look at the benefits. So go next level Greek, go next level Greek. My sons did and um, I highly urge you to consider it, um, expand your future, become global, travel more easily um, and yeah, design your life the way that you would like it to be. And, you know, I never thought that I could live in another country besides Australia because I never really experienced many countries besides Australia until I came here and saw that some countries are so livable. Well, yeah, just expand your world, expand your expectations, expand your visions of yourself in the future, apply for your Greek citizenship and become an EU citizen. Um, you have that amazing scope of living in any of the EU countries and retiring in any of the EU countries. And um, I've just travelled for the first time just recently, um, in the last couple of two weeks throughout a bit of Europe and it's so amazing and so different to Melbourne where I'm from and it's nice to know that my sons have the choice of living in Amsterdam if they so wish and um, all the best to you naiste kala ke olisas ke yasas bye